Nathan Francis Mosell, Black Physician, born 1856, died 1946. Largely through his own efforts, Nathan Francis Mosell established Frederick Douglass Memorial Hospital, Philadelphia's first healthcare facility for black patients. He also co-founded the National Medical Association, the country's leading professional organization for black physicians in 1895. A tireless activist, Marcel worked with civil rights pioneer W.E.B. Du Bois and initiated an effort to help black students gain admittance to Girard College in Philadelphia. Nathan Francis Marcel was born on July 27, 1856, in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. His parents, Aaron and Eliza Bowers Mosell, had come from Baltimore, Maryland, and although slavery still existed in the southern United, southern United States at that time, they had been born free. Nonetheless, they had endured enormous troubles in America, and one day they simply loaded everything they owned into a cart and headed north. The Mosells had five children, of which Nathan was the third. His cousin, through his mother's sister, was Paul Robeson, who would eventually earn a name for himself as a performer and activist. Aaron built a lucrative business as a brick manufacturer, but troubles still dogged the family in Canada. After a dispute involving some land he owned, Marcel's father in 1865 moved his family back to the United States, where they settled in Lockport, New York. In 1873, when he was 17 years old, Marcel went to Philadelphia. He and his brother, Charles, got jobs at the city's Lincoln University, where in 1875, he enrolled as a student. After he earned his BA degree there in 1879, Marcel planted to, planned Marcel planned to enter medical school, but he lacked the funds to do so. At that time, he was presented with what might have seemed a good opportunity to other young men in his situation, a position with the American Colonization Society, which was in the process of helping former slaves relocate to the West African nation of Liberia. Marcel, however, rejected the offer. In a bold letter to the society, he questioned their motives. Quote, The fact that the presence of the freed colored people in Africa increased the slaves' restlessness and dissatisfaction, he wrote, had more to do with the American Colonization Society's interest in the deportation of free colored people to Liberia than any interest in the society's part in Liberia itself. This accounts for the disfavor of the colored people as a whole for the American Colonization Society. I decline your offer of assistance. Unquote. Somehow, Mosell found the money to continue his education, and he entered the medical school of the University of Pennsylvania. In 1882, he became the first African American to graduate from the university, and he did so with highest honors. His younger brother, Aaron, will become the first black graduate from the university's law school, and Aaron's daughter, Sadie, will become its first black female graduate 40 years later. Now that he had become a physician, Mosell attempted to join the Philadelphia County Medical Society. The latter group tried to keep him out, and only with the help of his former professors, professors at the medical school did he gain admittance. In 1885, he studied at Guy's and St. Thomas Hospitals in London, England, where segregationist attitudes were not nearly as strong as they were in the United States. His return to Philadelphia, however, confronted him with the realities of life in his homeland. Of the city's almost 30 hospitals, he discovered none would accept black interns or nurse trainees. Several local medical colleges offered him a proposal. They would assist him in setting up a hospital to treat black patients, but only black patients. Leaders in the black community rejected this offer, whereupon Marcel, using what little savings he had, 
along with money raised by his wife, began efforts to establish a facility that would serve patients of all races. This was the Frederick Douglass Memorial Hospital and Training School for Nurses, which he opened in a three-story building on October 31, 1895. Mosell's role as superintendent of the hospital was not an easy one. Money was always an issue, in spite of contributions from supporters and a yearly grant of $6,000 from the state legislator. In 1908, under his direction, the hospital built a $100,000 facility, but did not manage to pay for it until 1915. And then, only through an extensive funding fundraising effort on Marcel's part, later he wrote a pamphlet entitled Hospital Construction, Organization, and Management, he managed to assemble a talented staff, including several white doctors. But by 1907, Philadelphia had a rival healthcare facility for black patients, Mercy Hospital. Officials at Mercy continually pressured him to allow a merger of the two in order to better serve the needs of the black community. And eventually, he would agree to the creation of Mercy Douglas Hospital. Marcel continued at the hospital and in his private practice until 1933. He was also active in other areas. From 1907 to 1908, he served as president of the National Medical Association, the nation's leading, nation's leading professional organization for black physicians, which he had helped establish in 1895. In 1905, he became involved with W.E.B. Du Bois and the Niagara Movement, a civil rights organization which in 1910 became the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP. Mosell in 1915, Mosell in 1915, he led marches to protest the showing of D.W. Griffith's Birth of a Nation, a film which presented the Ku Klux Klan as heroes and freed slaves as shiftless fools or dangerous rapists. The film's popularity led directly to the establishment of the modern version of the Klan in Stone Mountain, Georgia, later that year. Even after his retirement, Marcel led efforts to help blacks gain admittance to Philadelphia's Garrod College. He died on October 27, 1946, in Philadelphia, leaving behind a wife and two daughters. Citations are in the description.